Hi, this is Russell Sarah from teachertrainingvideos.com. Today we're going to look at working with Camtasia and using your webcam. And what I'm going to show you is that there's actually lots of things we can do. So we can screen capture and combine that with our webcam, but we can move the webcam around the screen. We can resize the webcam. We can use a green screen effect, the uh, system that I'm using at the moment, and lots of other options. So I'm going to just show you some of the things that you can do when recording screen capture and combining that with your webcam in uh, Camtasia. Hope you like the video. As always, if you do, please like it. Please share it with other teachers. And of course, if you've got any comments, leave them in the section below. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you can see is that I've turned the camera on and I've also got the full screen, uh, actual screen capture. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna combine using the camera. And if you roll over the camera, you can see yourself in, in large size. It's gonna combine it with the uh, screen capture where I'm gonna actually record the whole screen. So we're gonna do two things together. To, now to make it a little bit more interesting, what I'll do is I'll record over a PowerPoint slide. So I'm gonna open up this PowerPoint slide. And in fact, what I will do, there's no point in recording the PowerPoint slide full screen. I'm just gonna click on custom size. I'm gonna click on select area. So I'm gonna record this area here, okay? And if I just bring that player up to the top there. And also what we can do is we can click here and go to options. And there's actually quite a lot of things we can do in preparation with the camera. So we can click on property device and we can do things like focus in or focus out. So we can bring ourselves in closer into the camera if we need to do that. Uh, we can also um, work on, for example, if I just click back to this one here, if I need to change the brightness or anything, then I can do that here. Okay, now the main thing that I change is the focus, and I normally bring myself into about 145 degrees, but um, I'll just kind of change that a little bit so you can see. So I'm going to just drop that down, click on apply, click on OK. So that camera, now you'll see that the camera's slightly come outwards. Now I've got this curtain that I kind of want to hide, so I'm going to come back to the properties and come back to the camera control and bring that in a bit closer so that you can't see behind the curtains and apply that okay now that's perfect okay now I click on the button here okay and what it means is don't worry about that it's because I'm just doing a Camtasia with a Camtasia I'm all ready now and if I click on this button then I can now record myself record this PowerPoint slide and myself on the screen so let's do that as I said, don't worry about that. It's just simply because I've got two versions of Camtasia open at the same time. Hi, and today I'm going to do a presentation about how we can make money on YouTube. And I'm going to do that step by step and take you through all the key features. I'm going to jump to the next slide. So the key stages when you're trying to develop a YouTube channel are the following. Okay, let's just leave it there. We won't do any more of the recording. We're just going to stop that then. So I'm going to click here and stop that recording. And you'll I see, see straight away that I'm now on the screen. Now what happens if I now click YouTube on save and, and edit step step and we bring that into Camtasia features. and begin to edit it? You'll see that there are loads of things that we can do. So here we are on the Camtasia editing suite. I'm gonna drag that recording in that I've just made. And I'm just gonna make sure that it fits to scale. So I'm gonna make that nice and big. So I'm gonna choose project settings 12901080 and just make sure that I've got that full screen. Now, what you'll notice is that the webcam recorder and the actual screen recorder are completely separate. So I can, for example, just take that and move it to anywhere on the screen. Okay, so I can have myself anywhere that I wanna be on the screen. And that's the first thing that a lot of people don't realize. You're not in a fixed position. Now, remember, you need to select the webcam so that you're only focusing on the webcam. That's the one that we want to focus on. We just want to focus on the webcam. Now, another thing we can do is resize the webcam. So I can actually make that a different size and place it anywhere on the screen. So I might think to myself, right, I want it about that big. 
Okay, so that's how big I want it on the screen. So I can resize as well as move to any part, I can resize the webcam as well. Now something else that often people don't understand about this is that actually I can jump around on the screen and have one part where my webcam's here and then another part where it's here. And I do that really easy. Let's say that I play the first few seconds of the video. So, hi, and today I'm gonna to do a presentation about how we can make... And we get to this point here and we wanna jump over to here. What I do is just simply cut the video at that point. So this now becomes like two separate videos. And at that point, I just move over to this side. Now the result is that the first part of the video, let's just play it. And today I'm, I'm going to on do a one presentation side. about how we can make money and now on YouTube. I'm on the other side. And so I can do that. I can do that as many times as I want. So I can be jumping around on the screen. I'm not only jumping on the round, around on the screen, but I could also resize it. So on the first part now, I'm quite big, and on the second part, I jump over to the other side, but I'm smaller. Really simple, it's just having a few basic editing skills. Now there's a couple of really useful advanced features that I like, and the first one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna position myself here, and I'm gonna come down to visual effects, and I'm gonna choose border, and I'm gonna have a border around my webcam. And I'm gonna make that border quite thick. So I've got a nice border now, but I'm also gonna make sure that it kind of matches with what else is on the screen. So I'm gonna click over here, choose the color for my border and actually make it the same color as that. And that's a really nice feature, okay? That can work really well. I can make the border up to 10 thick. And it works particularly well actually if the video is a little bit bigger, you see it slightly more clearly. So you can do that as well. You can add a border around your video and again, that can be nice because you can match it into the color scheme of the presentation that you're doing. Now, another thing that you can do that a lot of people don't realize is that you can actually click on the video. So I'm gonna click on this part. Remember, we've cut this up into two separate videos. I'm gonna click on this part and I'm gonna separate the audio and the video and you can actually do that. So if you need to all edit or cut out any of the audio or you wanna quieten it, then you can also do that. So it's really easy to separate the audio from the webcam itself and then you can edit that audio. Now I'm gonna show you another trick and to do this, I'm actually gonna delete everything that I've added onto the screen and start all again because I wanna show you the technique that I use a lot, particularly at the beginning of my video where I just want me on the screen and then I actually want a different background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the background and the first thing I'm gonna do is delete the current background, which is the PowerPoint presentation. I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger on the screen. And you can now see, now what I'm gonna do now is bring in a video and put it on the, on the channel one. So I'm gonna import a video as part of my background and I've actually got, they're called motion graphics and I've got quite a few of these and I'm gonna use for this one, I'm gonna use this one here. Okay, these are just background videos. And I'm gonna drag that on but put it underneath. So now, and then I'm gonna make that full screen. So I'm gonna click on scale to fit, to make it fit. And now I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger here, okay? And the simple trick that I need to do now is to come down to visual effects and click remove color. Now this is why we talk about this green screen effect. If you notice, when I film that, I've got this green screen behind me and I've, I've lit up the green screen so it's very equal. So what I can do now is say, I want you to delete that color. And you notice that it basically deletes all the color behind. Now I can increase the tolerance if, if the color's slightly different. That's why it's so important to get a really equal kind of color behind you. And now what you can see, hopefully, is that we've got a background where it looks like I, I am, am kind of sitting in front of a video. And you can see that. And of course, I could move myself over onto the screen here, for example, and you'll see it even better. YouTube, okay, and, and that's the technique that I use. And again, that's just simply using the webcam. 
Okay, really hope you liked that video. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, click on the Camtasia section, and you've got loads more free videos about using Camtasia. If you're looking to buy Camtasia or to test it, click on the offer here and you can actually download a free copy of Camtasia and test it for four weeks. And you can also buy a copy of Camtasia with a fantastic discount. However, you do have to be in education to qualify it for that discount, which is actually quite substantial. You do need to be working in education or working for an educational organization. I'm also a recommended trainer for Camtasia. And if you look in the description, there is the opportunity to sign up and join the waiting list for the next training course that I'm running. I do run regular monthly training courses in Camtasia and you can just add your name and I'll send you the information when the next course is starting. Of course, you can always make use of all the free videos on my website and you can sign up to the newsletter. That way you'll get all the latest free videos, all the free blog posts and the free webinars that I run and you'll get information about the online courses, of course. And you can, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think we're up to something like 60,000 subscribers now. And if you are looking for training in Camtasia, click on contact Russell and contact me and we can talk about running a training course with you as an individual or with a group of uh, people that are learning Camtasia or want to learn Camtasia. And thank you very much.